Well, good morning, folks. Hope you're all doing very well. It is afternoon in game, and we are flying along here. It's a bit of a telehandler day today. We're just doing a little sorting out, taking a load of produce down to our storage area. Uh, and then we need to go and correct a mistake that we made in the last episode there. We've got a plan to do that, so we should be okay. Uh, lovely looking evening still. It's uh, nice and sunny here. We're still in May because I didn't want to progress too much without having... Uh, changed around the, the error of my ways. We're just going to slowly bounce the way down here. Wonderful. Now you lost all of the strawberries, but we managed to hold on to them. Perfect stuff. We'll just drop those into here for now. Looking good. We are, of course, in our new telehandler. Uh, it's been quite nice to have a something which has a trailer on the back of it. We don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm very happy with that. So, yeah, it was a pain to lose the JCB. Really did like the JCB, but, you know, as we discussed on many occasions, they just couldn't do it, really. It was just driving me crazy not having one. So, we went for it. Uh, went not having a, a telehandler that would have a, a good pickup hitch on there was uh, annoying. Uh, as you can see, everything's kicking along here very nicely indeed. Um, looking forward to seeing when the... In fact, they always look like they may have started to grow a little bit there, the trees, which is good. Look forward to seeing how that continues. Uh, we're just going to drop this pallet fork off now. We're going to stick on the spike nice quickly there. Because we have a solution for our bell rapid. Went out and picked it up with the 3670 just earlier on. Uh, as if you didn't watch the last episode, I strongly urge you to go and check it out there. What we were doing is cracking along with a bit of silage, which we got done, which is great. All the while, I was happily going along bailing uh, bales with a 1.8 meter diameter. Now, if anyone's quick on the draw, you'll recognize that none of the bell wrappers in game or trailed bale wrappers in game can handle a 1.8 meter diameter bale so we had to go for the inline bale as the uh the anderson dlc came uh came clutch really and allowed us to get a, a bale wrapper that we can load up and then we'll actually be able to to function properly so that's handy uh so we're gonna go and make that happen now really uh we'll just scoot by here what we should see when we will fast forward overnight is well, we should see a real sharp change in the um, the growth of all of our crops. A couple of the things I need to do, actually one of which we're going to do right now because I keep forgetting. Come on into here. We've been doing a few contracts as well, a lot of spring contracts around there. So you can see how the value of what, uh, in our bank balance is looking much better at the moment. We've got landscaping and we're going to go on to smooth. Because it's this area right here we just want to bring down. Let's even pick that up ever so slightly if we can. That should just about do it. Looks like there's still a bit of a bump there that we'll have to go and tackle. And there it is, so right in the gateway there. Okay. Then we're done. Looks better. Cool. Do I see weeds there? No. Okay. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how these crops come along, actually. They're looking pretty good. Uh, for this one on our right here has a 98% yield bonus, which is fantastic. So we'll be very intrigued to see how that performs. But as I said, here is our bale wrapper. We're just going to turn this guy on and then start feeding it some grossly oversized bales. Uh, so start the engine. Alright, so we should be good. Let's find out, shall we? Get rid of you. So yeah, a, a nice, uh, relatively easy fix to a pretty rubbish situation that I put myself into there. So we should be good. Uh, and we will just go ahead and see how we get on here. What we'll do as well, we'll use these ones. We're going to obviously leave them lined up along the side here. As soon as they are good to go, we will... Um, We'll use them or sell them or something. Uh, we, you know, we're gonna. I remember now for next time not to uh, not to keep them at 1.8. There you go. It looks like it's being accepted and that is being wrapped. Wonderful stuff. And I'm hoping. And I'm hoping that this will start to push itself down as it goes. Otherwise, we're gonna have quite a bit of a, a, a pile there. We'll see how we get on. There's only some like 16 or 17 bales, so it's not too many. You never know. These things are sent to tries, after all. Uh, 
yeah fortunately there, there was a comment in the last video so thank you very much for that i'd already started to look into options there and uh, figured out this might be the best way to go um but yeah thank you for your input nonetheless okay uh number two good it's not taking too long to wrap these oh lord okay there you go Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Perfect. That's better. So I hope you all do very well. It is Saturday at the time of release here. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Tomorrow, we will be bringing out a video about our new crossplay server. So if you are playing on PC or console and you want to get stuck into a server, do let me know uh and let us uh stay tuned for the video tomorrow that it's already set up there so it's already on its way uh and it'll be it should be it should be interesting uh interesting to get us going with at the very least okay and we're just gonna stick this one about here perfect stuff So yeah we're only a couple of months away from starting to harvest uh from a contract standpoint as you can see we've done pretty much everything that there has been to offer there's a couple of, oh there's a couple of new ones coming in well there you go not the biggest in the world field 21 where are thou field 21 22 19 20 21 is that oh well you know it's still we will take it and uh we'll see how we get on with that one andy accept cool another job for us there But yeah we've been able to we spent quite a bit extra actually upgrading to this telehandler because we the old one lost a bit of its value there uh so we you know we have spent quite a bit of money on that but yeah because we've been plowing ahead with a lot of contracts we are really still in a great position um you know we also upgraded our drill we bought a new shed we've done a lot of change around there so we're still looking great next thing i might want to do and i think we will be doing uh is looking to just to trade out the that a little electric forklift again there i think it's good but it's just not quite big enough for what we need so i will be looking to try and find us a or to use the farazin electric forklift as well i like that or maybe even just a generic forklift the uh the actual electric forklift that could work as well but we'll see all right well everything looks like it's working swimmingly here um like i said i'm not quite sure if it is Well, everything looks to be working just swimmingly here, which is good. I'm not sure if it's pushing this little wrapper back. I thought it did, but I can't recall. I guess we'll find out as soon as we uh, get this one in. It starts to get cracking along there. Just starting to hit the ground. Hey, yeah, it is pushing back. Good. Good, 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 good. We're laughing then. Not going to hit the tree or the hedge line either. That's good. What a treat. And then that'll get us out of a situation. We can get these sold off as quickly as we uh, as we need to. So I think what we will do is just crack on a little bit more, get these all put in, and then see what it's like when we're all done.
All right, folks, we have got three left. We've been flying through them. I've got into a nice little rhythm, actually, which is working pretty well. And I'll show you what that looks like now. We're bringing two back up at a time. Uh, and it just allows us to be a little bit more efficient, which is what we always like to see. Uh, so we're going to grab this one down at the bottom. There's still quite a lot of stones in here. We did pick this field the last time around. But yeah, they're still all piling up. And uh, I don't know when or how we'll get to clear those, actually. What we will be doing, though, tomorrow in game here we will uh, be looking at getting some slurry onto the onto the deck there you go that looks better that will do in fact that might work perfectly so we're going to spike both of these guys something like that wonderful stuff um and then we'll head up yeah so we'll get at least one application of slurry onto this field tomorrow uh, and then we'll see how it's looking. Get a cut of hail here as soon as we can after that, and we should be looking good. Uh, but yeah, everything is, everything else is looking all okay. The cattle are looking well. They're still producing nice, uh, high levels of milk, which is always what you want to see. Let's lift it up, get a bit more speed. And uh, we have an awful lot of muck. I need to get rid of that muck somewhere. I don't know where we're going to put that. We could tip it down there, actually. That could be an option. Ideally, one would think it's going to be best suited to go onto our stubble, which obviously we're not in the position to do yet. So maybe we can just hang on to it Ooh, for a little bit longer. There you go. We'll drop you about there. That's number one done. Now, the, uh, the wrapper cart has taken on a little bit of a slope, a little bit of a bend. Uh, so we're going to have a bit of a a curve in our wrap bales here but as long as they're wrapped i guess that's the main thing that's all i care about one left to go not looking all too bad there i would say not looking too bad at all let's get this last one and then what we'll do is we're going to skip through the evening here and we'll just see what the state of play is in the morning check in uh, have a quick look around see what the productions are looking like uh and see how the crops are growing there because it will be june which means that we'll be we may well have even started uh, to ripen off there so we'll be looking good Okay, folks, so it is June. It's bright and sunny in the, the morning. Uh, we have got pallets being produced left, right, and center that we need to get on top of there, I guess, today. Uh, we've probably got some animals to feed. Ooh, lots of strawberries over there by the looks of things. Some hungry hens. So lots to do there, which is always to be expected. What we are going to do, and what we probably should have done last night that we didn't, is return this bale wrapper. Uh, interestingly, we produced a grand total of 10,200 pounds from our property income which is from our placeable trees so that's not too bad get one of one of those holes every day we're looking pretty darn good uh so this as you can see is a result of that as well our income has shot up we're still could you believe it or not we're still producing cotton which is awesome uh or we're selling our cotton uh let's just unload these wonderful stuff Don't roll away, don't roll away, thank the laws. That would have sucked. So it doesn't really like to drive anywhere here, so what we'll do is just shut that off. We have to give it a bit of a nudge around. There you go. Happy days. Okay. That's not a bad little haul, actually. I like how that's turned out. Even though it wasn't supposed to be anything like that. But we'll we'll make it work. We're going to take this back straight away. We don't need it anymore. We're all done with it. And then we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. Uh, so it is still June. Uh, so our crops haven't quite ripened off yet. Uh, but they are looking rather good. Um, I do believe. So I'm happy with them. That's for sure. And yeah, it won't be long before we get that John Deere out soon enough to get going. And then I hope that we can really take advantage of a few contracts as well. Really want to get that combine in some money. And uh, we'll see. But otherwise, yeah, you can see we've up the, the crop density files. And you can really see that starting to, to show now when the crops are in this last stage. I'm happy with how that's coming together. Uh, but ultimately, that's all looking very good indeed. Delighted with the amount of income we're seeing coming through from both crop sales and property income sales as well. That's brilliant. Uh, and also the greenhouses are starting to uh, to really tickle on again after being moved. 
Uh, the cattle. Oh, we've got a lot more fertilizer jobs as well. We shall take all of those, please. Uh, the cattle are in need of some TMR. We'll get that done as soon as we get back. Milk production's on the way up again. They've got plenty of straw. Slurry's creeping up again, but that's not a problem because we know we'll get after that and stick that onto the uh, onto that field that we've just cut. Yeah, ultimately everything is looking good. We'll have a, just a quick stop here and go and check in to see what's happening with the agroforestry field there. See how that's growing along. It should be kicking onto another stage. Ooh, look at this now. Oats are looking good. I cannot wait to see what this looks like once the, uh, you know, once it's ripened off. Only a couple of days left. That's going to look awesome. Really pleased about that. Happy days. Let's just have a look into here. You see, I would like. Ooh. I can, aff I can aff uh, afford. I can manage to pull that now. That would free up a, a lot of contract options. Of course, the 8S is now 300 horsepower, so that's uh, a 28 grand. Sold. We'll sell ours off and we'll be done. That's, that's a surprise. We'll take that one. Good morning to me. Cool. Well, there you go, folks. L nice little update there. Plenty happening. We're going to get this sent away and then we should be good to go. We'll come back with a live stream here uh, early in the next week. And we'll see how we're looking. Until then, no, do stay safe, folks. Enjoy what you're doing, as always. I've been Simulation for the Nation. If you have enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. And we'll see you all in the next one. Catch you later.